Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we talk about high-value hi-fi home theater and headphone equipment, and today we're doing a tier list. That's right, a Chinese amplifier tier list. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about these cheap amps and rank them best to worst and make them feel bad about themselves. So we got 20 amplifiers that we are going to rank so f is the worst a is the best some people use s tier and some other stuff like that but for me personally a through f no e just like school used to be i didn't mean to do that i got something in my coffee ah coffee bean uh, coffee bean was actually in my coffee like if i had a rabbit if i had a rabbit i might be more concerned about what this is but Pretty sure that's a coffee bean. Anyway, you don't care about that. You care about this riveting amplifier tier list from China. However, first, a word from our sponsor, Shaker and Spoon. Huge thank you to today's sponsor, Shaker and Spoon? What's that? Let's find out. So what is Shaker and Spoon? Well, basically, you don't have to go to the bar anymore to enjoy a delicious mixed drink because Shaker and Spoon sends you all of the stuff that you need, like ginger ale, like Bloody Mary mix, like seasoning, like this, <laughs> like Kim Chili sauce. So each month they send you a new box and they have a recipes. So you don't have to worry about figuring out what to make with the ingredients. I got a box for vodka drinks, Slow Rush, The Weekender, Blood and Sage, and the Vodka Brunch Box. So if you go to shakerandspoon.com slash cheap audio man, you save $20 off your first box. And then they send you a box each month to make fancy drinks at home. The Blood and Sage, is it's got uh, herbed sage syrup and uh, a half, a one and a half ounces of Blood Orange Meyer lemon ginger ale, chilled. So we're gonna make that one. Good. Listen, who wants to go to the bar? Why not enjoy a bunch of awesome mixed drinks right at home from the comfort and safety of your own kitchen? So go to shakerandspoon.com slash cheap on you, man. You get $20 off your first box. It's gonna be awesome. You can make a whole bunch of mixed drinks from one box, four drinks from each recipe. That's a lot. Shakerandspoon.com slash cheap on you, man do it listen if you like some libations at night or in the morning check out shaker and spoon it looks like cool stuff i would totally get it for the holidays and stuff like that anyway tier list tier list all right i think i'm going to be able to get all of these correct as far as model numbers i think i have been boning up on these. All right, let's start off with one of the first amplifiers, if not the first amplifier that I reviewed on the channel, and that's the Fozzy Audio BT-20A. It's pretty good. The Bluetooth eh, is pretty bad. It just grabs your phone and then doesn't let go. Anyway, I think this sounds pretty good. I think it has decent power. Um, sometimes it sparks, though. Um, like when you're connecting the power supply. So you should connect the power supply and then plug it in. Don't plug it in and then connect the power supply. There's actually something in their manual about that. Um, I think this is C tier. While I do think it sounds great, I think it has enough power. There's some quirks with this thing that don't quite keep me from it. It's not an overwhelming, resounding recommendation. Cheapers, Randy. 
Okay, SMSL AD18 is going to go into D tier. Now, I know that this may surprise some people, but it uses the Infineon 12070 chipset, which is a little bit long in the tooth. The I.O. on that thing is a little bit wonky, and it doesn't sound that great. With the 12070 chipset, it sounds pretty thin. So I wouldn't really recommend it anymore. Actually, I guess it's still okay, so it goes in the D tier, but I... It's not bad. So it's not going to go in an F tier because it's not a bad amplifier. I just think there's so many more amplifiers out there that sound better um, at even a lower price. So it's going into D tier. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. This is the Fozzy Audio. This is the Fozzy Audio. I'll put it in the description. It has, I believe, I thought it was a Texas Instruments chipset, but I don't think it is. Sorry. My camera's right in the way, so I have to kind of like go in and out here. Um, I'm going to say this Fozzy Audio is D tier. Um, it just doesn't have the magic of the other Fozzy Audio products on here. It has a lot of functionality, subwoofer out, obviously a huge, huge Bluetooth aerial that you could, you know, it's like you're trying to communicate with somebody in the UK with a ham radio with that thing. Anyway. It's it's all right. It, it's all right. It's all right. That's it. That's all it is. All right. The Lox G A30. Um, D tier. I didn't love it. I think it sounds pretty much like the 8018. And frankly, it has the same Infineon 12070 chipset. Um, just has some larger I.O. So I think the 8018 and the Lox G A30 are probably just about exactly the same thing on the inside, just with a few different inputs and outputs. Yeah. So sorry, Lox G. I know some people love that, but there's stuff on here that is just better. That is cheaper. All right. One of these sabages is the A20. Okay. So this is the A5. So the A5 is the ice ice power module one i don't even know if you can get this one anymore but either way i would say that that was a b tier amplifier a little bit thin but the sound stage was pretty spectacular and the price was right i think the price was maybe 199 for each one so yeah good deal on that still a little bit thin but it was spectacular and pretty powerful let's do the other one this is the a20a and so i think this one is b tier as well i think it sounds a little bit better has a little bit more and you know what? it's going to c tier because it's got some wonky stuff on the back like it has a variable low pass filter for a power for a passive subwoofer like who has a passive subwoofer why would you even want it actually i'm going to put it in a d tier because of that it could have been really good, but who has a passive subwoofer that they're trying to power? Um, anyway, so D tier. Sounds good. Actually, I'll put it up C tier. C tier. But I don't know what they were doing on that one as far as design. Okay. All right. Let's do a, an, an IEMA. This is the A08. Um, I'll put that in C tier because it's the 3255 chipset, which means it sounds great. However, it has the internal power supply, which means you can't really upgrade the power supply. Well, you can't. I, I guess you could if you really wanted to. But I think the A07 is just a much better option. This one has Bluetooth. I think this is an upgraded version. There was a version that had USB and Bluetooth, but it's it's just not there. That like I get that it has more functionality than the A07, but for me, it's a C tier, if not D tier. Simply because I don't, they have better products out there. All right. Let's go. All right. The SMSL SA400. Mm. This is going into D tier. Not because it sounds bad, but because it's such a bad value. I think this is coming in at $600 or $650. So at that price, like you're getting into some decent class AB amplifiers. Um, yeah. So 
that's where it lands for me. It sounded okay, but it what didn't do anything that lit the world on fire for me. All right, our first our first F tier, unfortunately, is the Topping MX5. It does a whole bunch of things. Unfortunately, it doesn't do any of them well. It's thin sounding. Um, it's got a DAC in it, but it just it doesn't do anything great. So it's our first F tier. Poor, poor topping. I can't remember which this one is. Oh, this is the topping DA9. The DA9 is going to be B tier. Because although it uses the Infineon 12070 chipset, it does it has some integrated EQ settings that are just killer, including the SBD or SDB EQ setting, which is absolutely amazing. Um, this thing is fully balanced, decent power, um, sounds great, rivals that. I think this thing sounds better than mm, the NAD stuff that's available today. And it's 250 bucks. So at $250, you're getting an amplifier that sounds better than NAD new stuff. All right. DA9 from SMSO. A beat here. Here, I'm going to take a drink a cup of coffee. Drink a coffee. All right. All right. All right. We have the SMSL SA300. Used to be great until a bunch of other companies came out with stuff so that goes in the d tier pretty much the same thing as the 8018 um thin sounding uh, lots of functionality but the sa300 actually has way less functionality compared to the 8018 so actually 8018 it's like d plus where the sa300 is d okay d03 from aima going to go B a tier so this has um, Texas Instruments chips as well not quite as powerful very very functional though from um, you got a subwoofer out you got a fully functioning DAC you have Bluetooth you have remote control a little bit on the thin side so you're not going to be able to drive every speaker out there but for something that something like a second system in a den or something or a soundbar replacement. I think the DO three is unrivaled. It's ugly. I mean, it's really ugly. However, it sounds fantastic. Okay. We're getting down to some good ones here. Here's a Duke audio, kind of a Jack of all trades. Um, I was surprised. I think this comes in $155. I believe it has a phono amplifier, a DAC tube buffer, it has EQ, not EQ, uh, tone controls. It's built really well, and it doesn't sound bad at all. So actually, this is going to B tier because it's such a good value. Um, it lacks a little bit of detail on the top end, but um, it's pr pretty good. D uh, Duke Audio, I can't remember what the exact model number is, like VU. I'll put all these in the description. Um, A300 from IEMA, again, another 3255 Texas Instruments amp, but again, with the internal power supply, it does have tone controls. However, I don't think they're really that well implemented. So on paper, this thing would look like it's a winner in practice. It's C tier, if not D tier, because of that internal power supply. However... Where's the um, A07? Oh, oh, here it is. However, uh, don't despair, Aima, because you have the A07, which is which is A tier. Aima A07 is A tier because you can roll the op amps. It has an op amp receiver on there, so you can pop them out and then pop another op amp in there. And you can upgrade the power supply, and it sounds great just out of out of the gate. So. This is an absolute no-brainer because it comes in around $70 or so. To follow up with that, there, we can't do that one yet. We got to rank some of these other ones. All right, LA90 from Topping. Uh, C, C tier. It sounds fantastic. It's, um, it's really spectacular sounding amplifier. However, with the inputs, with the outputs, and the fact that I've read some issues with reliability on this, 
it's going to go into C tier. And I think it's overpriced. It's a class AB amplifier from Topping. It sounds great. Um, it's a flop with the ins and out, inputs and outputs. And then uh, it looks like there's reliability issues with it as well. And then that is another PA5. So PA5 is going to go into D tier. Um, sounds great. But again, many reliability issues. If you go check out some of the reviews on Amazon, or if you look at some reviews like in some of the forums. So maybe I'll edge it up here. So both of these amplifiers sound fantastic. The PA5 has a 3255 chipset in it. So it sounds great. It's maybe one of the best implementations of the 3255, but the one that I had, some of the inputs started getting loose. And that's another thing. Inputs are TRS inputs. So it's not really useful for anybody out there unless you have the matching topping equipment like the, the uh, DAC or whatever. But most people, you're going to have to get some type of adapter. But you know what? That makes me mad. It's going into D tier. He's both LA90, D plus. Okay, there we go. Sorry, topping. You got to you got to work out your reliability issues, and then you have to work out your input issues. And frankly, I've heard horror stories about people reaching out to topping and then just refusing to do anything about it. Okay, we have the Arillic. This is the S or the A50 Pro. Solid B tier. You have a streamer. You have a preamp. You have a subwoofer out. This is kind of like the affordable version of something like a power node or something like that. So absolutely. And I think it's using TI chipsets. So B tier all the way for the Arillic, um A50+. plus. Aima T9. Going to go into B tier. Would be A tier had it not been for... Um, some reliability issues. Mine never really had any reliability issues, but the some other people that I've talked to in my uh, community as well as some other places have talked about some reliability issues. I think those are fixed at this point. So I think all the all the models that are being sold are upgraded models that don't have that issue. However, some of them did. So instead of getting A tier, it's going to go uh, B tier. And then finally, the new Fozzy Audio. What is it? TB10D or something like that. It's the one I just reviewed. Like 70, 70 bucks, 70 or 80 bucks. Again, it's the Texas Instruments 3255. Again, you can use an, a better power supply or, or higher voltage power supply. And some people have rolled the op amps. However, I don't know. I didn't open mine up, so I don't know if it has an op amp receiver. So... What you're getting with the with the Fozzy is you're getting tone controls. What you're getting with the A07 is you can roll the op amps. So both come in around the same price. Both fantastic. You'll need a source for both of them, but from a value sound perspective, uh, they are unrivaled. So I hope you like this. I hope you like the tier list. If you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash man. Every Sunday night, we have patron-only Zooms and a patron-only Discord server and patron-only Facebook group. You can also use the affiliate links. If you click and you buy, I do get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more. So it's a great way to support the channel. You can also sign up for Amazon Music or Tidal Music. Links in the description. Click on the link, sign up. If you do, I get a couple of bucks, even if you quit. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Buy one of these cheap Chinese amplifiers and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.